Yeah, I, tra- yeah, I moved out. Yeah, I drove home right before Christmas. Uh, you know, I moved all my stuff home and uh, my car. You know, I got a rental car. That's only you know what's different about being here. So did you give grief to any of the guys that have to go up to school? Oh, I've been giving, yeah, I've been giving them grief for a while now. What do you remember about the experience of uh, going to the, the title game as a redshirt? Anything that can, you can take from that? Um, the only thing I can remember is like how well we practiced all week long. You know, it was the be- we had the best practices every single day. We just kept getting better, kept getting better. And then when we went out there, it's kind of like we just forgot what we what we did at practice. We just, um, you know, kind of let the game, you know, get you know bigger than it really you know has to be. And the only thing I could you know tell the guys about this year is just treat it like a normal game, just the same way we did it for the Rose Bowl. You guys think exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's plenty of times where, especially on the offensive line, we had a lot of miscommunication errors. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, fairly was unblocked multiple times, but, you know, that's, we just messed up. And, you know, now definitely have gotten much better since, you know, um, 2010. So, um, you know, really excited. What do you tell the guys about what to expect? LSU game and your first experience playing in college? Um, that game was, you know, for me, that was my first game, my first start. And, um, just enjoy the environment, enjoy the fans, enjoy the stadium. And, you know, we understand that you know both both fans, Ohio State and Oregon fans, are going to go crazy for a first down. Just understand that it's going to happen. But just focus on our game, focus on who we got to block, your assignment, and just worry about us. And don't worry about Ohio State. Just worry about the guys, you know, in the Oregon. Oregon locker room, you know, everything was like take care of for itself. You're talking about lessons that are learned through experience. Mm-hmm. How do you help guys who don't have the benefit of those experiences? How do you help get that stuff through? Um, our coaches do such a great job of doing that, of just, um, you know, just, you know, all season long, all the young guys, all the freshmen that contributed all season long have done an unbelievable job of, you know, not letting you know, letting it get to the head or so mature, for example, like Royce. You know, no no game has ever got to him, you know, mentally. And he's treated every single game like he does at practice, and he does really, really good. Right, yeah. You lost both SEC teams. Do you think the perception, a lot of people wrote off for them after that. Well, they went to the high school. Um, it's we're gonna always have some type of perception against us, but you know the, both of those games, you know, you know both teams did a really good job. There, you know, a lot of respect for both of them. But um, you know, like when you're playing at such a high level and such a you know competitive team, that you kind of just beat yourself. Um, and like the Auburn game and the LSU game, you know, LSU game were you know really close in the second half. We just had you know turnovers and offense line. We could have done a better job of opening up the holes for running backs and you know giving Darren Thomas time to protect. But you know now we just can't worry about those type of games anymore. Like you know that's what makes this team now so special that we don't ever listen to what people say about us. We just worry about ourselves. You know, that's that's my answer right there. I have no idea. I just you know people just like to talk about us, I guess. But you know that's what you know. I just you know can't get over how well this team has handled everything, adversity has been thrown at us left and right all season long and you know we never worry about what the people say about us, we just worry about the guys in our room. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. So and that, that's what they had to say. If that's what they think and they they're allowed to think whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. But you know for us what makes us special is we worry about ourselves and that's it. How close to 100 percent were you in the Rose Bowl and how would you rate your performance? Um I could have got could have done you know better but you know as offensive line as a whole we all did really well. Um, Individually, you know, I could have, um, you know, been a little bit more physical, but you know, it's, we got the, we got the W. That, that, that's all that matters to me. Um, but I felt really good. Uh, I felt like I can move, I can run. Um, but, you know, just right now, just now, now got to get healthy again and be, able to be ready for Monday. Close, close you're getting, you're close to 100 percent. I'm getting yeah, very close. Talk about how hard in your words, uh, what what winning a national championship would mean to you and your teammates. Um, just being in this position, just you know, very. Very blessed feeling. Um, I haven't even thought about that yet because now I'm just worrying about, you know, just you know what I got to do to help my team win the national championship. And I'm not thinking about what would it feel like to when we win the national championship. I'm, all I'm thinking about is what do I got to do to get this team in the best position possible to be able to win that game. You said win, 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 win. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I mean, we just um, we just do whatever it takes. Coronas, Coach Helfer's just been quick to protect the image of this program dating back to the snowball incident last year and to the no means no. How much do you guys talk about your image and what do you hope the image of the world is? To be honest, we don't really talk about our image that much. It kind of just happens that with such, with such a you know high you know character group of guys and together in one room, it kind of just gets done on its own. You know, nothing really needs to be 
percent. You know, just that's what I, I never even thought about it. Um, you know, the type of damage that we have, but it just, you know, it just happens on the fly. It just happens as we go. How do you hope that you guys are perceived? Just you know, a, a good football team that plays together. You know that we you know play together. We all love each other, and we all do whatever it takes to to win the win a game. And you know, there's no um, individuals on this team. It's all about the team, and um, you know, doing whatever. Whatever it takes to get the job done. Most the players see? have said this uh, during the season that you had a, a better attitude than any year that they've been here. Have you noticed that yourself? Play as a whole team attitude. Yeah, yeah. Um, we definitely uh, every year we, our attitude on the team. Every year since I've been here, our attitude has gotten so much better of bonding into whatever anything people are saying, trying to help us you know, succeed. Um, especially in the weight room, we changed we changed stuff up in the weight room a year ago after the Allen Bowl game. And, um, you know, everyone bought into it. You know, Coach Helfridge had the process, and everyone was interested in just going to keep on continuing doing whatever he says. What did you change in the Just, you know, Coach Ratcliffe, he, he, um, we just added more stuff to do, like more power lifting. And, um, we just got after him more, you know. Um, you know, being more competitive in the weight room, that's the main thing that we changed. You know, we're calling people out in the weight room. If another group of alignment is doing 315 on bench, you know, our group is going to try to do 325 just to, to beat them. And we're just going back and forth and being competitive. How much what have you seen? No, that's just getting after it. Just getting after it. How much have you seen of Ohio State? Um, today we watch, uh, you know, the first part of the Alabama game. Um, they're a very, very good team. They're, uh, what they do you know, they're defensively, it's not complicated at all, but they do it very, very well. They're very talented. They are the most talented uh, defense that we face all year, especially the defensive line, but the uh, most talented defensive line. Um, they're very active. You know, they get after the running, get after the quarterback, and um, you know, I have a lot of respect for them. Did you guys watch the Sugar Bowl after the Rose Bowl? Um, no, after the Rose Bowl, I mean, I watched the end of the game, but after, you know, I just spent time with my family at the hotel, and I watched, you know, I was watching the game kind of as a fan, to be honest with you. I just wanted to enjoy it, because I knew I had so much time to think, you know. I didn't know who we were going to play, and I was just watching the game, because, uh, but now, you know, I've got to get to watch the Sugar Bowl again, and um, we're just going to watch the whole, whole season. You guys are wearing white and silver in the game. What do you think about your It makes your us all look even more fat. That's all <laughs> <I think so. laughs>